Hello dear students, today I will discuss about distribution. There are three distributions in our syllabus, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution and normal distribution. Okay. So distribution, what is distribution? Probability distribution, we know. Uh, random variable, if x is random variable and its values are given and we can write probability of corresponding probability this is probability distribution for this random variable here random variables are either discrete or continuous so here we have three distribution binomial distribution Poisson distribution and normal distribution binomial and Poisson are discrete probability distribution okay so binomial variate Poisson variate that are discrete variate discrete variate means its value are given just like non negative numbers as a discrete and corresponding probabilities can be find by its probability function okay for binomial distribution for random uh, poisson distribution there are different type of probability function if we have a random variable if x is a random variable x is a random variable if x is a random variable having probability function probability function as probability of x equals to x or we can say that x equals to r and c r p to the power r q to the power n minus r where P is probability of success and Q equals to 1 minus P and number of trials n okay number of trials n here just here some little discussion is required binomial distribution then uh, just complete the definition of binomial distribution then random variable x is said to have binomial distribution binomial distribution with parameter n and p where p is the probability for success 
probability for success and n is number of trials okay and it is can be write binomial distribution n p n and p are the parameters of the distribution random variable have a distribution binomial distribution having n and p are parameter now p is such probability of success and n is number of trials just if we write the values of x and corresponding probabilities are given by this function where x equal to r means r success probability for r success out of n trials if we do n trials then 1 2 3 up to n trials and for getting probability success if there can be zero success one success to up to n times so in first n trials maybe n success getting maybe in minus 1 maybe in minus 2 maybe 0 1 2 3 4 are the success so here r equals to what and r equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on up to n clear so this is definition for a random variable have binomial distribution if random variable possess this probability function where n p r r for r success r may be what if we do n trials then maybe in first trial we get success or not success okay so here just how this function is obtained how function can be obtained for just understanding first of all note this this is the notation where x is random variable possessing this probability function formula then we can say the, this is having binomial distribution with this probability is given by this formula and random variables can take values from 0 to n descriptive okay so how this formula is we can get suppose actually binomial distribution is used in the case in the situation where we are trying to uh, we have to find number of defectives or number of non defectives uh, number of success number of failures and uh, maybe something answer as yes or no yes then success no then failure so in this type of situation binomial distribution is used okay so here suppose we are doing experiment just throwing coin how many times n times and if our target is that getting head is our success so suppose we are throwing coin up to how many times n times suppose for example five times then first time throw may be getting head or not also second time third time fifth time just we do up to fifth time throwing that is how many trials are doing for getting head five trials similarly just if we do n trials in general so there will be success in first trial may be success may not be success and second trial may be success may not be success maybe in this total trial three success are getting suppose first second third three trials are getting so maybe first three first three ex, experiment this is complete one experiment and contains n trials first in first three trials may be getting hit and remaining two trials not getting it maybe first getting not 
head but second third and fifth getting heads that means the out of five third may be occur as how many times from five taking three success how five c three that is if n trials are doing if n trials are doing then out of n trials how many success some are success so r is less than n or equal n because maybe n success may be n minus 1 n minus 2 and zero success 1 2 3 4 and so on so r may be taken if we suppose r success are getting so r is less than n or equal so but this r success can be arranged in different way that is from n objects taking r objects can be arrangement how many arrangements are there combination ncr so ncr combination are possible so from this n objects from this n objects we can take r arrangements for success r success now there are success or failure if probability for success is p if probability for success is given by p clear 1 2 3 up to how many times n times so from this n trials r success means and probability of success in a trial is p then for r success means p times r times p that is p to the power r but remaining n minus r just for example out of 5 3 are success then p to the power 3 and remaining 2 times q to the uh, not success means 1 minus p probability so q to the power 2 that means what 5 minus 3 that is in total if p to the power r then into n minus r probability of r success p to the power r into q to the power n minus r and these r success can be arranged in how many ways n c r ways so just multiply it by n c r so this gives what probability of r success from this n trials from this n trials probability of r success that is random variable can takes values if we denote uh, x denotes the number of success then x can take values what r r means what r can take value 0 1 2 3 4 up to n so probability of success r success is given by this this is the general formula here n means n times trials contains one experiment contains n trials for getting success so n n number of trials n and p is the probability of success p is the probability of success and q 1 minus p that is probability of failure Okay, so this gives the probability of R success in N trials. This is an experiment. Okay, so this value can be found from a binomial expansion. You know binomial expansion? A plus B to the power N. How can I expand this function as a binomial using binomial expansion? We can see that just like this. Suppose Q plus P power N. If we expand this as a binomial expansion, then we can get what? First value NC0 1 and C0 and C0 okay Q 
टू दी पावर एन माइनस आर पी टू दी पावर जीरो प्लस यस जीरो और वी कैन राइट लाइक जस्ट लाइक दिस आल्सो इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर बट क्यू प्लस पी लाइक दिस नाउ एन सी वन क्यू पावर एन माइनस वन पी पावर वन प्लस एन सो वन अप टू एन सी आर आर एक्ट क्यू प्लस एन माइनस पावर माइनस आर पी टू दी पावर आर प्लस एन सो वन लास्ट वैल्यू इज व्हाट एन सी एन क्यू प्लस पावर एन माइनस एन पी पावर एन दिस इज बाइनोमियल एक्सपेंशन वी नो दिस बाइनोमियल एक्सपेंशन ऑफ दिस कॉम्बिनेशन From this formula, we can, uh, this is the binomial expansion of this. Now we see that for zero sizes, n is zero, p to the power zero, q to the power n minus zero, n is zero, p to the power zero, q to the power n minus zero. This given for zero sizes, this given for one sizes, this given for r sizes, this given for n sizes. Clear? So all the Probabilities can be found from successive terms of this binomial expansion. That's why this distribution is called binomial distribution. Clear? And also we know that sum of probability is equals to what? The sum of probability means these are all the probability. For zero, one, two, three, up to n. So sum of this probability is equals to this, and from here we see that p plus q equals to one. P plus q equals to this is equals to what? One to the power n equals to one. Total probability one. Okay. Due to this reason, this distribution is called binomial distribution. Okay. Now, suppose this type of n trials, we repeat this type of trials. Means five trials, then five trials, then five trials, then five trials, up to repeated thousand times, two thousand times. That is n time repeated. N time repeated. Suppose n time we repeat this type of experiment. One experiment contains n trials. One experiment contains n trials. One experiment, another experiment, another experiment. How many experiment? N experiments. N time we repeat this type of experiment. Then getting zero success. Frequency of this zero success will be given by what? If we repeat n times, n of this probability x equals to zero. This will be the frequency for the random variable x. Here, if we repeat this type of trials n times, capital n times. Capital N may be hundred, two hundred, five hundred, thousands. So if this is given, zero success probability. And in this n times, number of zero success, n into p, x equal to zero. This gives frequency for the random variable having. Value zero. This is probability, probability distribution. But binomial distribution, binomial frequency distribution. What will be the frequency? Frequency means getting zero success in first experiment, second experiment, third experiment, n experiments. So getting zero success from these n experiments is given by. And into 
probability of getting zero success similarly n into probability of getting one success frequency this is frequency f1 f2 this is the number of sets in which we can get zero success number of sets in which we can get one success so that was what this into n this into n this into n this into n all multiplied by n so if we multiply this q plus p to the power n that means multiply all, every probability by n then what n of n of q plus p to the power n successive terms of this binomial expansion gives frequency for binomial distribution so if we write just like x values 0 1 2 3 up to n and frequencies what n into this n into p x equals to 0 n into p x equals to 1 and so like this so this will be the fitted binomial frequency distribution this is what x equals to 0 1 2 3 up to n and p x means what this is probability distribution only probability distribution means what p x equals to 0 p x equals to 1 this if we multiply this by capital n then this is binomial frequency distribution, fitted binomial distribution, distribution for this probability distribution. Here, yeah? so fitting binomial distribution, just we have to do in some questions. Okay. So this is the discussion about binomial distribution. Binomial distribution having a, a random variable having binomial distribution with parameter n and p and number of trials p probability of success for binomial distribution okay so and binomial distribution are used whenever we are trying to find the answer in yes or no answer in number of success or failure and number of uh, defective items uh, non defective items from uh, production failed okay so binomial distribution is used there. Clear? So these are the formula. It is called binomial frequency distribution. Just now for binomial distribution, we know moments. There are three distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution, normal distribution. For binomial distribution, Poisson distribution, normal distribution, we have to try to find the moments. Because from moments we can get mean, variance, standard deviation, uh, and beta, gamma. These are very, very important constants of the distribution. Okay. So here, just take, first of all, take. Uh, one two ex, uh, examples for uh, uh, related to binomial distribution here. So here, just uh, see one thing that uh, take uh, example. Okay. So the example. Okay. The probability that a pen manufactured. by a company will be defective is 1 by 10 clear probability that a pen manufactured by a company will be defective pen will be defective is 1 by 10 probability if 12 such pens are manufactured if 12 such pen are manufactured find the probability that exactly 2 will be defective and second, at least two will be defective. Third, 
नॉन विल बी डिफेक्टिव क्लियर सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यार नंबर ऑफ डिफेक्टिव एंड नॉन डिफेक्टिव दैट सो आई वी यूज बायोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन क्लियर नाउ वी नो हियर फॉर डिफेक्टिव प्रोबलिटीज वॉट सोल्यूशन प्रोबलिटी ऑफ डिफेक्टिव here it is given that here it is given that probability of a pen will be defective the probability of a pen will be defective will be defective is p equals to 1 by 10 point 1 suppose we denote by p it is this denoted by p and probability of non defective probability of a pen is non defective and so this is probability for defective we just suppose p defective q non defective and so probability of a pen will be non defective non defective is equals to 1 minus p that is 1 minus point 1 equals to point 9 equals to what denoted by q we know probability of non defective is probability of defective pen is p point 1 non defective is q equals to what point clear now p and q are given for variable distribution for getting probability p is required q can be find 1 minus p n number of trials n so here 12 such pens are manufactured by the manufacturing company 12 such pen means 1 to 3 up to 5 To n up to twelve, so n equals to what? Twelve. N equals to twelve. So point one. This is point nine. So P Q n. Now first, first is what? The probability of exactly two will be defective. The probability. of exactly two will be defective two pen two pen will be defective 12 what will be the formula N C R N C R P to the power R Q to the power N minus R. Here values are given. Here exactly two, exactly two. one two three four five up to twelve. Exactly two means two. That is R equals to two. R equals to what? Two. Here defective P. So, or n equals to twelve. So twelve c two p to the power two q to the power twelve minus two. That is what twelve c two and p to the power means point one to the power two and q means point nine to the power ten. 
ओके सो जस्ट ट्वेल्व से टू पॉइंट वन टू पर टू एंड पॉइंट नाइन टू पॉइंट टू थ्री जीरो वन पॉइंट टू थ्री जीरो वन जस्ट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट इट ओके सो कैलकुलेशन पार्ट दिस टेक टाइम सो जस्ट डू इट फ्रॉम योर सेल्फ माइनस ऑफ स्क्वायर पॉइंट नाइन एस पावर टेन एंड ट्वेल्व सी टू ट्वेल्व सी टू मीन्स यू कैन फाइंड द एनसीआर हाउ कैन फाइंड यू फाइंड द वेल्यू ऑफ एनसीआर एंड फैक्टोरियल अपॉन फैक्टोरियल एन माइनस आर फैक्टोरियल आर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला सो ट्वेल्व सी 12 C2, how can find 12 factorial upon 12 minus R to 10 factorial into 2 factorial. So we can get 12 into 11 into 10 factorial. So 12 into 11 upon 10 factorial cancel 2. Okay, 66. That is the finding method of NCR value, value of NCR. So you can calculate it. 12 C2. And then power two or ten, just this. So this is the probability of exactly two will be exactly only two success. So yes, success means effective. Clear? So answer p to the power q to the power. This is the answer. Second, at least two will be defective. Okay. Second, second is can we find? the probability of getting at least two will be defective the probability of at least two pen will be defective Is equals. Now, understand one thing. At least probability of success. Probability of out of five. Probability of success. Suppose three. Then at least two success. That means what? Two success. At least two. Maybe three success. Four success. Five success. So you have to sum of this. That is what at least two success means two success, maybe three success or four success or five success. That is probability of p x equals to two plus p x equal to three plus p x equals to four plus p x equals to five. This is at least two success. And we know that total probability is one. So for getting at least two success. Here one success and zero success are there. Now total probability is this, or that sum of this. The probability of x equals to zero plus probability of x equals to one plus this total probability as equals to one. And at least two success means what? One minus one minus this portion. One minus this portion because this is equals to one minus this. One minus this means, or we can uh, suppose the uh, uh, discuss also like this. Suppose this probability of success, this probability of unsuccess. One minus. Three. So for getting probability of On success, so we can minus this one minus success minus a probability of getting its inverse one minus q equals to what from here we can see also that one minus q equals to p success equal to one minus p. So getting this number of success means from two to five. We can write one minus probability of non-success of zero and one. 
Okay, so here we can write probability of getting at least two pen will be defective. That is our success. So one minus probability of non or one non defective pens. Clear? So probability of probability of at least two pen will be defective. So one minus at least two to five or twelve. Except this, none of this or zero and one. So probability of non or non is zero or one. non defective pens non defective pen okay probability of non or one non defective one minus that means what one minus here non defective probability probability for Here the formula is used for defective. Here not defective means up will be changed here. So here one minus probability of first part probability of probability of non or non or zero you can write also zero non non defective non non defective pen this plus probability of one non defective non defective pen clear that is 1 minus 12c first part 12c non means 12c is zero and here for success non defective means q will play the role as p so point 9 to the power 12 Clear. Point nine to the power twelve and plus now other part power zero. So cancel twelve c one point nine power point nine power what eleven. Uh, also uh, just write here. Point one power one and point nine power eleven twelve minus one this so this is the from here we can find the property okay so this is equals to one minus just solve it point nine to the power twelve and point one to the power zero here. At twelve c zero one here twelve c one twelve point one power one point one point nine power eleven just calculate it and you can get the value just like point three four one two point three four one two just calculate it by using calculator you can do it okay. So at least two non-defective. So one minus probability of at least two less means zero and one non-defective. So one minus probability of non or one non-defective. Okay. So here non means zero, one means one. So twelve c zero, twelve c one. Here point nine to the power twelve. 
2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 12 minus 0, this. Clear? So, this is the answer. So, calculate this answer. Now, uh, last is um, the probability of non will be defective. Non will be defective. The probability of non will be defective. The probability of non will be defective means what? The probability of non will be defective. Non will be defective means what? 12 C 12. Are not defective. 12 are non defective means what? Point 0.9 to the power 12 because p to the power 12. But yeah, probability of non will be defective means probability of non defective. That is. Point nine to the power twelve. You can calculate it. This is one. This is point nine to the power twelve. Point nine to the power twelve. Point two eight two three. 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 You can calculate it by calculator. Okay. So this is the solution of this. Here we use binomial expansion, binomial distribution. Okay, for this question. Now take one more question. Number of success or failure you can get. Here, suppose. Suppose, take another question, a die is thrown 8 times and a die is thrown 8 times and it is required to find the probability that 3 will show. A die is thrown 8 times, means a die is thrown 8 times, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 times, 8 times, right? One experiment contains 8 trials and equals to 8. Okay. And uh, probability is required for 3 will show in throwing of die. So, exactly 2 times 3 will show, at least 7 times 3 will show, at least once 3 will show. So, just find the probability for that okay so here in this questions we can see that just i will discuss it in very short here p equals to let p equals to probability of probability of showing 3 on the die. Probability of showing 3 on the die. Okay. So, in single throw, because we throw die up to 8 times. In a single throw, getting 3 
for that probability probability of showing 3 on the die in single throw is equals to what 1 by 6 it is very why there is 1 3 and total faces are 6 so 1 by 6 this probability now probability getting not and so q equals to not probability probability of not getting 3 on die in single throw is equals to what 1 minus p 1 minus 1 by 6 5 by 6 we can calculate it and also non 3 means there are 5 places so 5 by 6 okay 5 by 6 now probability of getting 3 exactly 2 times getting 3 at least 7 times now first probability of what is given exactly two times probability of getting three exactly two times that is what probability of success equals to what 2 exactly 2 so this is equals to what probability of how many times throwing 8 times n equals to here we see n equals to what 8 ok r r may be 0 1 2 up to 8 p equals to 1 by 6 q equals to 5 by 6 so exactly 2 times means p x equals to 2 that is what 8 c 2 p p means what 1 by 6 1 by 6 to the power 2 and 5 by 6 q to the power 8 minus 2 that is what 8 c 2 1 by 6 square into 5 by 6 power 6 just we have to calculate it ok 5 by 6 to the power 6 1 by 6 to the power 2 this you can calculate and get result ok so just do it by using your calculator ok 8c2 you can get 1 by 6 power 2 and 5 by 6 power 6 this is the probability similarly second option just write in short second option is what at least 7 times at least 7 times getting 3 7 times getting 3 means how many times are there 8 times at least 7 times means 7 times and 8 times so probability just we can write in short probability getting 3 7 or 8 times <coughs> getting 3 7 or 8 times ok at least 7 times means at least 7 times means you can write like this also getting 3 at least 7 times This is equals to what? Probability of getting 3 at 7 or 8 times. At least 7. So, this is equals to we can write Px equals to 8 
plus p x equals to eight has seven seven. Getting three is p success so p x equals to seven. So when eight c seven p power seven means one by six power seven into five by six power eight minus seven one plus eight c eight p power p means one by six power eight one by six power eight and five by six power eight minus eight zero so this can be calculated just calculate by your calculator okay p One by six for eight, and one five by six for one, and so one by six. This just you can calculate it. Eight seven, eight six seven means eight. Eight six one, eight means one. And this for seven, this for one, and this for zero, and this for eight. Just use calculator and do it. So this is the value. And third is what getting at least ons. That means third part is here. Third part is probability getting three at least. Ons, at least ons, at least once, at least once, one times means one, two, three, four, five, six, up to eight, eight times, at least ons. So this is equals to what? P x equals to one, P x equals to two. P x equals to three up to P x equals to one two three four P five P six P seven P eight. Okay, so one two three four five six seven eight times. And for calculating this part, we know. The total probability is equals to sum of total probability is equals to one. For getting this, for getting this, we can write the one minus p x equals to zero. P x equals to zero. So it can be found by one minus x is zero. Q to the power eight, P to the power zero. The formula that is five by six to the power eight. One minus x zero means one. Q means five by six to the power eight. Five by six to the power eight, and P means or zero means one. One. So this is the value. One minus five by six to the power eight. You can calculate it. In decimal, okay, by using calculator. So this is the method. At least once means one minus at least non. At least non means sorry, uh, non one. One minus p x equal to zero. So one minus zero. This is the problem. Solution of this question. Okay. Okay. Now, binomial distribution can be used for finding this type of. Solution of this type of questions. Now, main important thing is that for binomial distribution, we will try to find moments, mean, standard deviation, etc. by using for. Okay, so here just take. How can we find constants of this? Just 
note down some formulas a very very important formula for all the distribution binomial distribution poisson distribution and normal distribution okay so main thing is that we will try to find moments by using moments you can find mean variance standard deviation etc okay moments can be find by using mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 we know what is mu1 rth moment rth moment about mean rth moment about mean and mu r dash rth moment about a point generally taking origin 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 means zero okay dash about any point this is about me mu r dash about the point a maybe mu r dash about origin this is given for which method for discrete probability uh, random variable what sum of rth order so x minus 0 origin so 0 means only x there will be only x to the power r and p x i i equals to well this is mu r dash mu r dash you know this is from previous class this is also our mean so sum of x minus r so r here x minus mean 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 is generally denoted by x x uh, either x bar or mu or mu1 dash is gives mean that's why we can write any of these three mean okay so x minus x bar or r px i here i here i and i this definition by using this definition this very we can also write like this x like this moment about mean moment this central moment first four central moments are very very important first four central moment first four central moment central moments first four central moments are mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 about me and this four quantity can be find by using mu1 dash mu2 dash mu3 dash mu4 dash they are moments about origin okay so this formula is very very important so you have to note it okay so how can we find this for particular distribution so here mu1 is always 0 okay first central moment second central moment this mu2 is also what variance variance that is variance of x of random variable and we know that the root of variance is equal to standard deviation so mu2 is very very important so mu2 can be find by using this formula mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash square this is formula of mu mu 3 so mu 3 dash just writing of this formula 
here 1 3 1 so just remember how can we write this formula okay 1 minus 3 2 so mu 3 dash here mu 2 dash here mu 1 dash 1 minus 3 2 just remember for that 1 minus 3 2 so 1 coefficient 1 here minus 3 here plus 2 and from back side just we have to write like this mu 1 dash cube this is cube here mu 1 dash this is the power just for writing 1 minus 3 2 and mu 3 mu 3 dash mu 2 dash mu 1 dash so from back side or 3 or 2 or 1 just remember it okay minus 3 mu 2 dash minus 3 mu 2 dash mu 1 dash plus 2 mu 1 dash cube here 1 4 6 and 3 just mu 4 how can we write this formula just like this mu 4 then mu 4 dash mu 3 dash mu 2 dash and mu 1 dash just write like this first then 1 minus 4 6 minus 3 here power 4 here mu 1 dash cube I think square and 1 square dash square mu 1 dash minus 4 plus 6 minus 3 this is the formula 1 minus 4 6 minus 3 1 minus 4 6 minus 3 mu 1 dash power 4 here mu 1 dash power 4 minus 3 mu 2 dash mu 1 dash square mu 2 dash mu 1 dash square and mu 3 dash mu 1 dash mu 4 dash so these are four formula very very important formula so remember it always very very important formula and dash 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 moments about origin you can find by using formula okay so these are the four central moments for getting this four value mu 1 always 0 mu 2 can be find by using this formula mu 2 equals to mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash square that means for finding mu 2 if we have value mu 1 dash and mu 2 dash then you can get mu 2 that is variance that is a standard deviation clear and we know mu 1 dash is mean so mu 1 dash having mu 1 dash means we have mean now mu 3 and mu 4 are required to find the coefficient of pertussis and skewness that is for beta and gamma okay there are three four constants for distribution so by using this formula you can get mu 3 mu 4 if we know mu 1 dash to mu 4 dash so just we will try to find the value of mu 1 dash mu 2 dash mu 3 dash mu 4 dash because if we have mu 1 2 3 4 dash value then we can get this value that is we require finding the value of mu r dash for r equal to 0 1 2 3 4 so very simple formula just we have to remember it in terms of n small n p for success probability q non success probability in terms of n p q because here n and p are the parameters of variable distribution so all the values can be written in terms of n and p q means what 1 minus p so only two are parameters n and p so just now we will discuss about mu r dash how can we find value of this okay so this for 
सेंट्रल मोमेंट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर थ्री डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑल्सो बायोमियल पाइसन नॉर्मल ओके सो हियर दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट फार्मूला जस्ट रिमेंबर इट बिकॉज बाय यूजिंग दिस वी कैन गेट मोमेंट्स अबाउट मी ओके सो जस्ट आई विल फाइंड ओनली वो म्यू टू बिकॉज म्यू वन इज ऑलवेज जीरो म्यू टू एंड जस्ट सिमिलर मैथ बाई सिमिलर प्रोसेस यू कैन फाइंड म्यू थ्री एंड फोर हियर For mu two, we know mu two mu r dash, mu two dash, mu two dash. Okay. First of all, mu one dash. Okay, mu one dash. How can we get find the mu one dash for binomial distribution? Binomial distribution means here x is random variable. Take x binomial distribution. X is binomial distribution with parameter n p. This means what? X is binomial variate with parameter n p. Now mu one dash. We will find mu one dash. So we know that this is moment about origin. So moment sum of x power one. One one p x. Okay, p x. Clear? This is the value. So we can write just like this. We know x is binomial variate. Then means p x equals to what? If just use R for just use R. P R is x equals to R. R. R equals to zero to how many times? N times. Clear? Because here n trials. So from R equal to zero to n, R equal to zero to n probability of very R x one to three up to R times. And here also we can use in place of x. R. Clear? Now, just write like this: sum of R equals to zero to n sum R. P R equals to what? If for binomial distribution, p to the power R, q to the power n minus R. This is the value q to the n minus R. And here, q equals to one minus p. That is what q plus p equals to what? This is for binomial variant. Binomial variant and p parameters. Okay, so r equal to zero to n. R p r means this and c r p to the power r q to the power n minus r. Clear? now by the definition of binomial expansion also and say we know r n c r equals to what r into factorial n upon n minus r factorial r factorial this is value so it can be written means this combination R of this is equals to what? R we can write like this. 
what n n minus 1 factorial factorial n equals to n n minus 1 factorial here r can be written as yeah, r into r can be written r into r minus 1 factorial and here n minus r factorial just you can see that this is equals to r r cancel here we see n this is n n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial upon n minus r minus r minus 1 n minus r minus 1 we can write like this n minus 1 1 can see n minus r n minus r can be written like this and r minus 1 factorial this r r can see n is here n minus 1 is here now we see that n factorial upon n minus r factorial and r factorial that is what this is n minus 1 c r minus 1 n n minus 1 c r minus 1 this is this can be written as means in place of this we can write sum of r equals to 0 to n so this is equals to what n n minus 1 c r minus 1 p to the power r q to the power n minus r okay says this since by this calculation we can write this is equals to this okay now now just we can write here n taken outside also 1p taken outside then we can see that r equals to 0 here r equals to 1 because if r equals to 0 we take then that there will be negative sign so from r equals to 1 to n ok r equals to 1 to n so n minus 1 c r minus 1 p r minus 1 q n minus r p minus 1 here p is taken now we see that just like that's the type of formula in place of n we can adjust it also how n minus 1 minus r minus 1 n minus n minus r so here n my n c r p to the power r q to the power n minus r n in place of n n minus 1 and in place of r r minus 1 so it can be written as as we know that sum of this is equal to what as we know that sum of n uh, n c r p power r q power n minus r equals to what q plus p to the power n n 1 to the power n equals to 1 this is so here we can write just from r equal to 1 to this so we can write n p q plus p to the power n minus 1 clear q plus p to the power n minus 1 and now q plus p equals to 1 so n p 1 power n equals to n p so mu 1 dash is equals to this mu 1 dash equals to n and also we know that mu 1 dash is what mean mean so mean of random variable is equals to n so mu 1 dash equals to n clear by using this type of logic you can find all the values of mu 1 dash mu 2 dash mu 3 dash mu 4 dash and values are written as a simple way just it may be asked in exam to find the mean and variance of 
binomial distribution, binomial variant. So you have to find mean equals to NP, where NP are the parameters of the binomial distribution. So mu1 dash, mu2 dash, mu3 dash and mu4 dash can be found. Okay by using this type of logic, this type of calculation. So do it complete in your copy of for this all four moments about origin. Just we can write its value is NP. So just remember that other value can be remembered like, like this 1 1 1 3 1 1 6 7 1 and that's very simple technique. NP. Now, just remember 1 1, 1 3 1, 1 6 7 1, 1, 1 1, 1 3 1, 1 6 7 1. And writing method is what? Here n. So, here n n minus 1 p plus. Two terms are there. Its coefficient one. Its coefficient one. One dash one time n n minus zero. Two n minus zero n minus one. Three n minus zero n minus one n minus two. Four n minus zero n minus one n minus two n minus three. Just like three. This means n n minus one n minus two and p to the power what three and n n minus one p to the power 2 but coefficients are there here just write like this uh, this is power 3 and n n minus 1 n n minus 1 n minus 2 here n n minus 1 and then n so its value will be what p p square P Q 1 3 1 1 plus 3 plus 1. This is the value. Just write like this. N N minus 1, N minus 2, N minus 3, P power 4. Just and coefficient 1, 6, 7, 1. So here 1, 6. And N minus 1, N minus 2, N minus 3 huh? up to 2. P power 4, P power 3 plus 1, 6, 7, 1, 7 and n minus 1, P power 2, 1, 6, 7, 1, 1 and P. So these are the values. How can we write? Just here, I think n, n minus n minus 1, n minus n minus 1, n minus 2, P, P square, P, P square, P Q, P, P square, P Q, P power 4. So you can just like getting NP you can get also by doing calculation and to mu to dash this, mu to dash this, mu to dash this. Also by here comparing from here we can get the value as a in terms of Q also in short. This way these are the values first in terms of N and P, N and P. So it can be solved. mu2 dash mu2 dash because we know the formula mu2 equals to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash square so mu1 dash is this mu2 dash is this by using this two we can get variance so mu2 dash also this can be written in terms of just common here from np and p take common we can see that np common then n minus 1 into p plus 1. Just solve it and p and p minus p plus 1 and we know that and p and p 1 minus p means q. So we can write like this n square p square plus n p q. In terms of p and q 
it can be written n p q plus n square p square. Just take comma and convert one minus p right one minus p equals to q. So you can get like this. Okay. So n square p square n p q. So its value in terms of p and q. You can write what n p q plus n square p square. This is in terms of n p q. So this is the similarity. Just you can calculate this and just remember how can you write. Also, if from here we can convert it in terms of p and q. Okay. By using this, 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 this value, we can get central moments. We can get central moments and central moments for finding just like this. Mu one equals to what? Zero. Okay. Always. Mu two equals to what? Mu two equals to mu two dash minus mu one dash square. We know this is mu two dash means this n p q plus n square p square minus mu one dash n p square. So n square p square. So from here we see that mu two equals to n p q. That is. Mu two equals to n p q. Mu two equals to n p q. Mu two equals to n p q. And we know that mu two means what? Variance, variance, variance of x. Variance of binomial variate n p q. Where n and p are the parameters of binomial distribution. Okay, mu two. And if I also calculate mu three uh, mu three, what is the formula? Mu three dash minus one minus three two. Just I will also write the formula. What mu three dash minus three? What mu three mu? Two dash mu one dash plus two mu one dash q just like this. Okay. So using this here put mu three dash that is this way. Here mu two dash that is this way. Mu one dash this way. Mu one dash q this way. And calculate it. You can get value. Similarly mu four. Mu four is what? One minus four six and one minus four six and minus three. So what? Mu four dash one minus four six minus three. Nah? So mu three dash. I think mu three dash. Mu two dash. Mu one dash plus six. Mu two dash. Mu one dash square. I think mu one dash square. Minus mu three minus. Three mu one dash or four or four sorry or four. This is the relation also. For mu four, you can do it. This is mu one, mu two, mu three, mu four can be find by using this formula. So note down also the formula can be written in in short form just like this. How if we Find all the central moment. Just we can get like this. Central moments. Central moments for binomial variates. Binomial variates. Mu one equals to zero. Mu two. Just we see that mu two equals to what? Mu two equals to n p q. Mu two equals to n p q. Binomial variates d and p are the parameters. Okay. Mu two and mu three, mu four. Mu three is n p q q minus p. Mu three 
एन पी क्यू क्यू माइनस पी दिस इज दैल्यू एन पी क्यू क्यू माइनस पी एंड म्यू फोर कैन बी ऑल्सो फाइंड एन पी क्यू वन प्लस थ्री एन माइनस टू पी क्यू एन पी क्यू वन प्लस थ्री एन माइनस टू थ्री एन माइनस टू पी क्यू दीज आर द फोर सेंट्रल मोमेंट्स अबाउट मे सेंट्रल मोमेंट्स फास्ट फोर सेंट्रल मोमेंट्स फॉर बाइनिंग मेलिट्स this two can be find by using this formula by using that values okay so these are very very important because here we can see that from p and q we can find all this this is zero always this can be find okay so remember this and measurement of for uh, squeeze is given by beta 1 what is beta 1 mu 3 q mu 3 q square mu 3 square upon mu 2 q beta moment of coefficient of skewness moment coefficient of skewness is this beta one is given by mu three square by mu two two by using this value you can get its value what mu q three q this square upon this q so by calculating we can get value by putting this value one minus two p square by n p q q minus p square upon n p q n p q this is beta one q minus p square upon n p q okay by putting this we can also second coefficient beta two equals to mu four upon mu two square by using this mu four means this upon mu two square mu two square by doing putting this value we can also get the value as like this equals to 3 plus 1 minus 6 pq 1 minus 6 pq upon n pq n p q clear this is four value this is beta 1 this is beta 2 moment coefficient of skewness beta 1 beta 2 and gamma 1 moment coefficient of kurtosis mu sorry gamma 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 1 is equals to root of beta 1 root of beta 1 means root of this q minus p upon root np np q just remember it gamma equals to okay and gamma 2 second coefficient gamma 2 second coefficient gamma 2 gamma 2 equals to what beta 2 minus 3 that is 1 minus 6 pq upon npq these four values are very very important these are the main standard constants of binomial distribution this you know mean means what mu one dash n variance means what mu two n p mean is what mu one dash equals to n p variance is what variance of x equals to mu 2 equals to what np q and 
this beta 1, beta 2, gamma 1, gamma 2, these are defined by using this. So these are the main coefficients, constants of binomial distribution. So remember it, very very important. Topic is this, okay. Now just uh, for your attendance, I will give uh, three, four questions to you for solving, uh, finding probability just like uh, using n, c, r, p to the power r, q to the power r, success, unsuccess, etc. For, uh, by using this formula, probability x equals to r for r success, binomial distribution, binomial distribution, okay. By, Using this formula, just you have to solve four questions. So, questions for the attendance, just I am giving through this. Only just questions I will give now. And these four questions you have to solve from yourself and send me for, the, for your attendance after making video file okay and remaining discussion i will continue in the next class okay